Yo guys, welcome to a new video on the Team Gullet channel. As you can see, it's Levy here once again. And in this video, I will rank the most popular strikers in the AFC 24. And I will divide them into five ranks, which are Ballon d'Or, which obviously is the highest. Then we have Golden Boot. Then we have Starting Striker. Then we have Pinch Hitter. And last but not least, we have Sunday League. I hope I'm not going to disappoint some of you guys with putting your striker you have in your squad too low. If I do so, you maybe should think about getting a new striker. So let's just not talk too much and start with ranking them. First up, we have Player of the Month, Aubameyang. Me personally, I haven't played with him, but I can tell he's not good. He's just not good enough. So for me, he's going into Sunday League. Next up, we have Radioactive Benzema. Um, I think purely as a striker, he won't be too good. But I think he could play in centre mid in a 4-3-2-1, for example. Obviously, Benzema, he has good finishing. His dribbling and passing are okay. His physical's okay. Pace isn't that much, but I think you could use him as a pinch hitter. So for me, he goes into pinch hitter. Next up, we have Future Stars Boniface. I hate to face this card personally. So I think he's solid as a starting striker. Just not gonna lie, I think he's solid. He has good finishing, physical, pace. He has everything to be a good striker. Obviously, he's not in the highest ranks, but I think he's solid as a starting striker. Next up, we have the man everybody hates to face, but if you play with him, he's amazing. 91 Winter World Cup Thibaut Courtois. I already said he's amazing, but obviously he's not Ballon d'Or because he's not the best at dribbling and passing. But if you play a lot of crosses, he's the best option after Team of the Year Haaland. So he's going into Golden Boot. Next up, third birthday, Jonathan David. Really solid stats, good pace, good physical, dribbling, passing, shooting, everything is solid. Skill moves, weak foot as well, pretty good. Um, so for me, Jonathan David, no doubt, goes into Golden Boot. Luke De Jong, player of the month, uh, easy one, just goes into Sunday League for me. Obviously, he's good at heading, uh, but apart from that, he doesn't have anything really. So he goes into Sunday League. Next up, Gianni. Um, I think if you asked me like a month or two months ago when she came out, she would have been into starting strike or maybe even golden boot. But now I think she's just only useful as a pinch hitter. So for me, Diani is into pinch hitter. And from Giocares, yeah, just looking to the stats, Sunday League is the only thing that suits him basically. Maybe the best player in the game at the moment if you look to the current meta. You guys should know who it is now. Team of the year, Erling Braut Haaland. No doubt he is into Ballon d'Or. After Haaland, we got another amazing striker, which is gonna go into Ballon d'Or. She is Mia Hamm, team of the year. Definitely into Ballon d'Or. Five star skill moves, five star weak foot. I know some pros even rank her above our nine. Me personally, I don't do that, but I think that says enough. She definitely deserves to be in Ballon d'Or rank. Next up, a card that just got released. 94 Cherry Henry, third birthday. Finesse shot plus, rapid plus. Yeah, I think he's just... The same as Mbappe, team of the year, for example. Definitely deserves to be in Ballon d'Or. 91 future star Lauren James. Um, now if I look to the other ranks with the strikers divided in there. Golden Boot, you have Courtois and David. For me, Lauren James is definitely not reaching that. But she is better than Diani and Benzema. So I think starting striker fits her. Next up, Joao Pedro, Europa League card. Um, once he came out, he was a nightmare to face. He was so annoying. I think he has 99 jumping. Finishing is good. Dribbling was also good. Um, but I think at this state of the game, he's not it anymore. He's better than Sunday League, obviously. Um, I think you should just use him as a super sub. So as a pinch hit there, I think he could be solid. Next up, Harry Kane, 93 UCL. Me personally, I just don't like to play with Kane, I have to say. I don't think he's on the same level as Shoah Pedro and Gianni and Benzema. So I think he just goes into Sunday League. Maybe that's too low for Harry Kane, but for me, he's just into Sunday League. Next up, Katoto. Then we have another one who's joining the Sunday League, if you ask me. Um, she's definitely the wish version of Diani. So for me, she's not, she's not even reaching pinch hitter. The second team of the year in this list, which is going to be Sam Kerr. That's a quite interesting one. Good finishing. I've played with her. I didn't really like her pace and her dribbling was a bit weird. That obviously four star skills, five star weak foot, that's really important for a striker. So for me, she's definitely better than Boniface and Lauren James. So she goes into golden boot. Next up, Mbappe Gold. <sighs> He's not an, on the level as Ham, Henry, Ballon d'Or. The thing I always notice, once new guards get out of a player, not only that one is better, but it seems like the version before gets worse. 
So I really felt Golden Mbappe is much worse than he was at the start of the game, which obviously makes sense because the defenders got better, but not only that, also just his capabilities are just worse. And let me know in the comments if you also think about that, if you also feel that. Me personally, I really think that is a thing, but for me, Mbappe still goes into Golden Boot. Next up, Alex Morgan, third birthday, also card recently released. Five star, five star, yeah, just amazing. Not getting into Ballon d'Or, but she's clearly into Golden Boot. We have fans favorite, which is Noah Oka for Evolutions. You guys, you deserve to have a striker like that. He's really good. Didn't cost you too much because he was an Evo. Just a solid starting strike if you ask me. I think Noah Oka 4, no debate, just a good starting striker. Next up, we have Openda for the birthday. Again, really good striker. For me, he's a slightly upgrade compared to Oka 4. So if you guys have the coins, you have Oka 4, maybe you wanna do that Openda, get him in as a striker. I think he's better than Oka 4, but I don't think he's on the level from Mbappe, Sam Kerr, uh, Morgan. So I would also put him as a starting striker. Next up, we have Pele, 97 third birthday Pele. Five star, five star, that's not even a question. Surely goes into Ballon d'Or. Pop, 95 team of the year. This is gonna be the lowest ranked team of the year in this list. She is a solid starting striker, I would say, but nothing more than that. My man, the main man, 95 Ronaldo Nazario. Year in, year out, he's the best striker. For me, he is the best player in the game, I think. You can just always rely on him. His finishing is good, he has the skill moves, he has the weak foot, he has the pace, he has the strength. He just has everything you want from your striker. So obviously our nine is on Ballon d'Or. Totti CR7. And if I'm gonna compare him to other CR7s, previous team of the year CR7s, he would be in Sunday League because this one is just not good at all. But looking to the other players which are divided in the ranks, he is better than Golden Mbappe for sure. He is better than Sam Kerr. He is gonna be the lowest in the Ballon d'Or for me because he's not on the level from Pele, R9, Henry, Hem and Haaland, but he still deserves to be in there. So he's going to be in Ballon d'Or, but he is on the edge to be in Golden Boot, if you ask me. Next up, we have Team of the Year, Sophia Smith. I think she's really good, but it depends on your play style. Because if you like to dribble, like to do quick turning and such, I think she's really good. But if you like to play a bit more long balls and go into the duels, she will be really poor. But for me personally, I really liked her. I think she's better than Sam Kerr. So she definitely deserves to be in Golden Boot. Next up, Trailblazers Hun Min Son. He was a nightmare to face at the start of the year. But now we have to be honest, he's just not it anymore. I will not put Sonny into Sunday League. So if you have him as a pinch hit there, I will allow you to do that. So Son for me goes into pinch hit there. We have another aerial threat, which is Serlot. Yeah, amazing. I think he's really good. For me, not... For me, probably better than Openda, Pop, Okafor and such. I think he's on the same level as Courtois. So I'm gonna put maybe a surprise. I'm gonna put Serlot into Golden Boot. I think he's only 20, 25k. So if you're searching for a cheap Haaland, you should definitely get him. The best card this guy ever had, I think. Stoichkov, five star, five star. Just crazy stats. He deserves to be in Ballon d'Or. I think he will be better than CR7, for example. So maybe that's a surprise to some of you. If you have the coins, I should definitely try him out. Now we have the man. I know probably most of you guys have done him. I know in a recent video of Team Gullet, I said he wasn't worth it. Maybe I regret a bit about that. Uh, fantasy for Timo Werner. Um, with the upgrades he got, he is amazing. He definitely goes into Golden Boot. He's not on the level from the Ballon d'Or players, but he definitely does bits in attack. So he's in Golden Boot. Last but not least, final striker is gonna be Striker Manager 3. Yes, you heard that right, Striker Manager 3. It's a free to play managing football game where you can find the best striker in the world, which is me. If you download the game, you can get me in that game. What else do you want? Make sure to download Striker Manager 3. Thanks for watching this video. I hope I didn't disappoint a lot of you guys with putting your striker too low. Let me know if you agree with this list. Now I'm watching it. I think I did pretty solid. Make sure to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.